This is the final installment of our proposal writing video series. This is Philip back again to talk about support materials, general etiquette when working with galleries, and to close this out with some final thoughts. This first section is called support materials. I should first note, XSpace accepts submissions at any stage of development, from existing work, works in progress, or proposals for entirely new work, everything's game here. If you are proposing a project that has not yet been created, choose images and videos of past projects that will illustrate your ability to complete this project and or how the proposed new project fits within your practice. I'll begin by talking about images. With XSpace's call, we accept 10 images max. If a specific format slash file types or size has been indicated in the call, we would suggest using that. Pay attention to what is being asked of you. Organizations, collectives, and institutions that put out calls for submissions use varying platforms to accept submissions. XSpace uses a really handy platform called Submittable, but Google Forms and straight up email submissions are also frequently used too. If no specific formatting for files has been indicated, use a JPEG format, no higher than 100 to 250 DPI, and label all your files consistently. Any resolution size 250 up is great, but in terms of image quality, you can also get away with 150 if need be, but just know that the lower you go, less higher quality the image will be. Just know that the lower you go, the lower resolution it will be, and the harder it will be to see the image that you're trying to present. Label all files consistently. The example that we have here uses a combination of first off numbers, then the initial of the first name, and then the entire last name, and then a quick description of what the painting or support image is of. Numbering should match up with your support material list, and please note that most online application portals, including ours, will not accept any other formats besides those indicated. Using XSpace's guidelines as an example, here's a purely hypothetical mock-up of what we constitute being a well-rounded assembly of support images. The ratios of these images will depend on where you're at with the work. If it's a work in progress, you may choose to substitute visual reference for more images of the works in progress. Depending on where you're at, it might just be sketches, past work, and visual references. This list is made from the hypothetical position of an applicant who is in the early stages of creating this new work. It includes a mock-up, a floor plan, sketches, and just know that you can compile multiple sketches into one image, works in progress, or an image of a work in progress, past work that communicates a process that you'll be using for a new work, say for example it's printmaking, or paper mache, or photography, or a specific other sort of medium or process in the realm of sculpture. A wide shot of a previous project, so we can have a sense of how your works will fill up the space and the scale that you work at. Past work that uses similar imagery to the proposed project to sort of give a, give a tonal and contextual look into your body of work and your practice as a whole. Visual reference, so research or another artwork or exhibition that informs your proposed project. Visual reference, so this could be visual research from real life, things that you've seen. This could be visual, re visual reference, this could be a visual research from real life, like personal archives or movies that you've seen, etc. And lastly, we've got 10, which is a flexible image. So if you have a mock-up from a different angle or another image of a work in progress or another angle of a mock-up, these are totally variable. So you know, use this as a sort of guideline, but, but attune it to how you're making work right now and where you're at in the process. If you're a curator or group applicant, these tips might be helpful. For curatorial submissions, support images can include a mixture of images from proposed artists, confirmed artists, and artists or artworks that serve as inspiration for the proposed exhibition only. Make sure to list which artists fall within which categories in the support material list section. Reevaluate and adjust the image breakdown so see previous slide, to reflect where you're at currently in the development of the exhibition. Oh my god, I just said this. Proposals that are further developed may include more mock-ups, whereas proposals that are less further developed may include more sketches, references, and works in progress. 
Blank templates and floor plans of all three of our physical spaces can be found in the resource section of our website. Please use these to draft mock-ups and hypothetical floor plans of your proposed exhibition. This is of the window space. This is of the project space. As you can see, it's very much just a standard cube shape. And this is the main space. So as you can see here, there is a pillar in the middle of the space, and it kind of has a more rectangular slash L-shaped look to it. Next, I'll be talking about support materials in the context of videos. So point one, if a specific file format file size has been indicated in the call, use that. Two, if no specific formatting has been indicated, use MP4. Use consistent file names that match your support material list as we previously stated. Next point is, as a general rule, one minute of video equals one image. Point five, if you can't edit a clip from your video, indicate on your support material list at which timestamp the jury should start and stop watching. And point six, confirm whether a jury can accept a video link in lieu of a file before sending a link. XSpace actually requests links to these files in general, so you don't have to worry about that. Next, I'll be talking about writing. So it's important to read all guidelines carefully. I've seen submissions that have had all of the writing and images for all sections compiled into a single PDF that was attached to the support material section. As the other sections on the form were technically left empty, the submission could not be evaluated, so please be sure to be reading all of the guidelines that are presented to you. Do not send more than what has been asked for and abide by all word limits. Send all written materials as PDFs unless another format has been requested. Never send a .pages document unless that has been specifically requested, but I highly doubt that it will be. Pages, again, is an Apple-specific program, and not everyone has a Mac. Next point is keep your file labeling consistent. Most importantly, follow the instructions. They're there for a reason. And lastly, juries generally have a large amount of material to go through in a short amount of time, and any delays in opening or reformatting your files for viewing means less time to look at your proposal, or in the worst case scenario, they might not look at it at all. We do our absolute best to ensure that we read everyone's submissions, but we know that isn't a standard across calls like this, considering the high number of applicants that calls usually get. Oh, I also forgot to mention, for your support material list, ensure that descriptions are no more than one to two sentences. So general etiquette when it comes to submission processes and working with galleries can be kind of tricky, so here are some things to keep in mind. Don't give more than what has been asked for. Follow word counts and image limits. These are set to ensure that the jury has enough time to read and see everything. Follow all instructions carefully. They're there for a reason. Not all computers can open or read all file formats and sizes, and if your proposal can't be opened, it can't be juried. An important thing to remember is to make sure that your file sizes are not too small or too big. Too small on it will mean that the images will be blurry when blown up, and too large means that the images will take a long time to load or will not load at all. If there's no active call, check with the gallery first before sending a proposal. Most galleries, like XSpace, have a particular format to accepting submissions and selecting programming. I receive cold call emails all the time that I unfortunately must turn away. And most galleries will do the same. If you're really curious about a space, ask how to get involved versus just sending unsolicited proposals. Gallery staff are usually happy to tell you about their process or might invite you to share your work with them. It really just depends. When reaching out generally, addressing XSpace staff as our actual names is great because it shows us that you're genuinely interested in this space and have taken the initiative to research us and what we do. The best way to go about getting involved in the arts stems from genuine connection over networking. Research galleries, attend programming, find which spaces resonate with you, and do your research about who you're seeking to begin a relationship with. As a miscellaneous note on the topic of research, if you ever find yourself needing to reach out to XSpace specifically, please be sure to spell the name of the gallery correctly. It demonstrates uh, a respectability and a research into us as a space and an attention to detail. So for your reference, it is XPACE Cultural Center.
Please do not direct message staff on their personal social media accounts. Although you may feel like your question is urgent, we ask you to please be respectful of others' time. We would also like to acknowledge that gallery staff have lives outside of their professions and cannot reply to professional inquiries outside of those hours. If you send an inquiry at the end of the week, expect a response after the weekend when staff have returned to their offices. X-Space staff specifically are on hand to answer questions from Tuesday to Saturday, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Does your proposal have time restrictions or preferences? If so, we encourage you to list it. Are you a student who only has time to make work during the summer? Does your proposed work fall well within an event or annual date, like Lunar New Year, Valentine's Day, the Olympics, Pride, etc.? And this concludes our three-part series. We hope that you find this helpful as you submit to calls at XSpace and beyond. Please be sure to follow and check us out on Instagram at XSpaceCC as we share calls for submissions, free or pay what you can workshops, or jobs in the arts on our Instagram stories. If you have any questions about our current open call, please consult our Frequently Asked Questions document, which can be found on our website. For any other unanswered inquiries, please contact opencall at xbase.info. Staff will be happy to answer any questions you might have, but heads up that there might be a delay because of a volume of requests around this time. Thanks for tuning in and catch you later!